I want to beg you. Enjoy your single days. Don't be under pressure by anybody. Not even your pastor. See no evil, hear no evil. Your eyes and your ears are portals into your soul. Guard it with due diligence. One of the, the questions that scatters the life of many ladies is when are you getting married? Use your single days well. Calm down. These are the days where there is no distraction. The issue I have with my generation is that I see many young people trying to look for somebody to hook up with. You need somebody to call you, somebody to text you, somebody to like your comments, even though they don't like it, but because they are under an obligation, they just have to like your post on Instagram to prove that they are lawyer. Imagine your single days is a deposit that will be yielding after marriage. What you have invested in your single days, what can it yield? No, what can now? What all of you that have boyfriend now that have a man and woman in your life, you have bay, you have boo now. Now, now that you have bay and boo, what is he yielding? Many of you are just in entanglement. When reality dawns on you and you begin to pay school fees, your eyes will clear. This is season to pay school fees now. Your eyes go clear when you start paying rent. The single days is the best days in the life of any man. The single days, but. Now that you are hearing my message, don't be quick to say yes to a boy. Have you rethink. Don't allow anybody to put you under pressure. When are you getting married? If you are not one, don't marry. Your single years are not for you to wait to be married. Your single years are like your test period. Your single years are like your marketing period. Whatever you will do with somebody in your life, start doing it for yourself now. Will you be a great addition to somebody's life? Improve your own life. That's what your single years are for. You are proving and showing to us that you are a good candidate for marriage. Now that your life is your only project, build your life to be enviable and beautiful. Now you are all by yourself. You have, nothing has improved about you. But you want to add somebody else to this life. Look, the Bible says two should be better than one. There are some people that come to me that they want to marry. I say, don't try it. You can't join these two problems together. Two should be better than one. So you, 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 you can't be waiting to marry now that your life is your only project. What have you added to your life? How are you improving your own life now that you are alone? It's how you improve your life now that will show us what you will do with somebody else's life when it's given to you. How are you improving your life? Listen, ladies. If you are going to even attract the right person, you must first be the kind of person that can attract that person. So there, there, there are too many things. Your single years are not just for waiting. Your single years are for building. There are too many things you should be doing with your life right now that you are single that makes you more eligible for marriage. Not just more eligible, but you become a better candidate even when you are married. It's your building years. I, I bet, uh, now, uh, you, that single people listen to this. Going to school is great, of course. You must go into school, that's great. But whether or not you are going to school, what other thing are you adding to yourself to make you a better person? Not for marriage, to be a better person. What are your interests? What are your hobbies? What other things do you like? Sometimes those things and those places is where you even meet your spouse. I was telling you guys yesterday that I suffered before I found my wife. I suffered. 